Okay, this is a very quick intro to uh, Blender. Uh, when you come into Blender and you open it up, you'll be uh, you'll see this option here. Just click on the screen outside that, and you'll come into this space. And this is uh, 3D space, so this is a 3D environment which you can move around. If you hold down your middle mouse button, you can move around your scene like this, and you'll see that it's got uh, three axis. Axis. Uh, so we've got uh, green being the y-axis, x. Um, axis being the red and the z-axis being the blue um, and you have to sort of start getting used to the idea that you are um, producing things in 3D okay um, so um, also you can see uh, different views if you press on your um, ki your keypad where you've got your numbers and things if I press on 7 you get top view uh, 1 you get side view uh, 0 you get the camera view and you can just go into 3D view just by pushing away from it. Also, uh, 5, if you press that, is orthographic and perspective. Um, I won't go into explaining that, but you'll get the idea as you start using Blender a bit more. Okay, so um, inserting an object. Uh, let's delete this object. If you want to delete an object, you just press the delete key. But if you, you, you'll get this option, uh, is it okay to delete? And you have to click on that. If you move your mouse button away from that, it will disappear. So delete, and then delete the object. Then we go up to the top here and add. And you can add lots of different things. Uh, you might, if you're doing idents, want to add text at some point. But uh, meshes are uh, what are more commonly used. And I'm going to add a UV sphere. And there we go, there's my sphere. Okay, so I can add that. And I can move it by clicking on these different points here, and dragging it across. So I'm clicking on the X and it will just move the X. If I click on the Y, it will just move in the y direction and z, obviously the z direction. Okay, or you can press uh, G and grab it, and it moves around, but it will sort of move um, according to where your camera is. So if I spin around this way and press G for grab, it will move according to my camera. If I go to top view and grab, it will move around like so. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So I'm coming out of that view there and moving around again. Again, middle mouse button to move around. Um, let's add something else. A mesh that's useful to add is the monkey, because it kind of looks like you've done some something cool. Uh, and let's uh, rotate this monkey. So you press R, and you get this uh, rotation option like this. But it's obviously rotating um, perpendicular to my camera. So what I need to do, uh, let's undo that. Control Z to undo. I can press rotate around the x-axis, and I can rotate it just on the x-axis, or I can rotate on the y-axis and it rotate on the y-axis like that okay so R for rotate um, and uh, G for grab if I press G and then X it will only move along the X okay it's quite handy to use the keyboard shortcuts and there is also scale as well I can scale this monkey so he's nice and big or not so I've scaled him and I can scale him uh, just to the and constrain it to the x-axis so he goes all wide like that or thin like that Okay, um, so that is uh, basic um, object adding. Let's add another object. Let's go up to add. Let's get another mesh and let's choose a cone this time. Okay, and there is our cone. Okay, move it around like that with these points, or I can say G for grab and constrain it to the x axis and move it along the x axis like that. Okay, um, this, um, when I said if you press zero, it gives you the camera view. I'll come out of that a second. This is your camera here. Uh, do you know one thing I haven't mentioned is right click selects. That usually confuses a lot of people. Uh, naturally, you go and left click um, if you're a Windows person. Uh, but right click in Blender is select. I don't quite know why they did that, but uh, that's really important that you uh, get the idea. Um, so there's your camera, and that's um, so that's the scene and the setup. There's a light up there. This is the camera, and if you press zero, you'll look through the camera. Okay, um, so that's the camera. Um, if I want to render my scene, uh, so this is just a preview at the moment. Uh, if I want to render it, um, I will see what the camera sees. Okay, so I will see this. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add mesh plane, and I've got a plane there, scale it up, so we've got a floor. And you'll notice loads of things are just sort of that's now sitting on the floor sort of thing. So we should hopefully get some shadows from this light casting down here. Can't see them at the moment, that's why we need to render. So if you hopefully when you open up, you should be down this render pane here where you get this little camera and there's a render button just there. 
So you click that render button and then it shows you uh, what your scene's going to look like. It looks all blocky and very basic at the moment, but with a few more tutorials, you'll be amazing. Press escape to come out of that and you're back to your scene and adding bits in. Okay, hopefully that's a um, good introduction to you. Uh, watch out for more tutorials. Um, good luck.